Hey, welcome back. I'm Chris, and today we're going to talk about this Manfrotto Element tripod. Let's do this real quick. Now, there's a couple reasons why I bought this tripod, and there's a couple features that I was kind of surprised with. One being the bag. It's a pretty decent bag. I mean, it's padded on the inside. It's got a nice wide mouth on it to where the tripod doesn't get hung up when you're trying to take it out. Now, another key benefit to this tripod is its form factor and the fact that it's lightweight. It's not carbon fiber, but it is aluminum, and it's really compact when you... Well, have it all away for storage. Now for normal operation, this is about as low as you're gonna get, but you can do one thing to get it even lower or at least get your camera even lower. Go ahead and take the ball head off and then go ahead and take, well, the little hook down here off. And then you can have your camera mounted inverted like this so you can really get as low as you can to the ground or whatever your subject might be in case you're doing macro photography or you just wanted a really interesting angle. But it allows you to get, well, a little more versatile with your shooting. Now another feature I like is the fact that, well, if you twist the leg off here that has the padding on it, it becomes a monopod. Now while I haven't normally used a monopod in the past, I like having the option when I'm out and about just in case I'm in a particular place where, well, I can't use a tripod, say a crowded area where I need a little bit of stability, but it's just not feasible to, well, go ahead and use a tripod. You don't have the room. So using a monopod like this, where, well, it's a pretty big monopod, is quite nice, honestly. And you can very well just do the same thing and throw the ball head right on top. And I like that feature a lot because the monopod I have, which is a Manfrotto monopod, by the way, I don't have a ball head for it. It was, well, I bought that 18 years ago when I bought my other tripod. And that's one thing I can say about Manfrotto tripods. It's, I've been using them for over 18 years. And they're pretty rugged. I have, knock on wood, have not broken my other tripod since. And, well, I've purchased this tripod and another fluid head tripod. And I can't say enough good things about them. I can't, well, say I haven't used them because I've been using them for over 18 years. Now, there are three positions on the legs. Now, this is its most compact position. You can go fairly wide and even bring that center column down if you want. So you eliminate any... The, the more you can have your, your camera right next to the three tripod legs, the steadier it's going to be. But this, this tripod's really rock solid to begin with. It all depends where you're shooting and how much of a stable shot that you want. Now it has the added benefit here of having a hook so you could add more weight. And really, well, placing your bag underneath with that hook is just that easy. And it gives your tripod a little bit more weight, a little bit more stability. That's a nice feature to have. Plus, you get the camera bag off your back, and you don't have to put it on the ground in case it's early morning and everything's all wet with dew, or you're in a muddy place, or it's snowy out, or something like that. So I do like that feature. This one feature I don't have on my other tripod. I would have to, well, I'd have to rig something to do that. But this comes right with it. And the fact that it has this nice ball head on it, it's got a separate pan and tilt to the ball head. It's got two bubble levels on the ball head itself. It's got an Arca Swiss type of a mounting plate, and I will tell you that it does work with the Joby Gorillapod Focus, I believe I have, so it is compatible. That was one of the reasons that I bought it, so that I could switch from one tripod to the other. When I'm doing reviews like this, or vlogs, or working out in my wood shop, I wanted to have the versatility to, no matter where I was, and have a nice lightweight tripod in case I was well, hiking in the woods, and I just wanted to get a slightly different shot. So this tripod really has enough features well, that it was definitely worth it for me. And uh, I never used this twist lock legs before, so it's a little bit different for me just because I'm used to the lever locks on these legs, but these are really easy to operate. Just to kind of show you the size comparison to the tripods, this thing is kind of a beast, and it's not the largest tripod they have, that's for sure, but I'm not going to go hiking with this thing. I'm not going to, well, take this to a niece's birthday party or nephew's birthday party or my kid's birthday party because this is a beast. I'm going to use this for a pretty specific application. It's heavy as well. And also this one's a little bit smaller, but it's still pretty big. It's still pretty heavy. It's not as convenient to throw it on your back and go hiking through the woods. Now I have done it because, well, this is my photo tripod and this is the one I would use, but just the same. I'm looking for something a little more lightweight because if you're well, at an event in a crowd or something like that, this is pretty big to operate. So having this one, well, it definitely fits the bill, and it's pretty tall. I mean, with its small form factor here, it's surprisingly tall. Let me show you that right now. I mean, this is a pretty tall tripod. It's My camera height is taller than me, and I'm 5'8". So it's very nice if you're doing, like, group photos or something. It's For a travel tripod to be this tall, 
I can't complain. And while well, to go from one extreme height to the next to really show you how low you can get your camera to the ground if you have the benefit of having a flip out screen, operating your camera really shouldn't be much of an issue once you get your settings down and you really want to get that shot, especially if you're doing something like macro photography. The added benefit of having the ball head here really allows you to get the shot that you want. Now having the ability to mount your camera in an orientation like this where it's well underneath your tripod really allows you to do overhead shots whether it's photography or video. And while well, having a ball head like this where it has a separate knob for panning it does come in handy and then you got the big knob for well the ball head itself to get you into the orientation that you need and do those overhead product shots that you wanted or whatever you're really playing around with. It's definitely a nice benefit. And you can easily strap your tripod to your photo backpack or your photo bag or whatever you have. I mean, it's a nice form factor, that's for sure. So all in all, with all the added benefits and features of this tripod and the fact that it's nice and sturdy, and I know it's a company that I enjoy because I've used their tripods for over 18 years and have not had an issue, knock on wood, I'm gonna be very satisfied with this particular tripod. Now the only other thing that this tripod does not have is, well, a fluid head to work with if you're doing a lot of video work. So that is something to think about if you're doing a lot of travel photography or videography that you might want a fluid head. And that's another tripod for another day that Manfro had a nice line for. So in any event, I think we're pretty much done for today and I'll see you on the next one.